What's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient Channel. Today is April 18th, 2019. Although by the time you guys are watching this video, it is probably going to be past that. But April 18th is actually my father's birthday. So first and foremost, let's take a second here at the intro of this video to just wish happy birthday to the Shaolin hookset master, right? My dad, the person who taught me how to fish, all right? So happy birthday, dad. All right, <laughs> regardless, today is going to be my 58th outing of this year. It is a beautiful day, 70 degrees out here. It's spring is definitely full mode on. I got some red worms with me. And I mean, today is one of those days that I'm just relaxing, right folks? I'm, I'm taking it easy. So I just came to my local public quarry and I'm just going to check what is going on. Now, supposedly they stock this quarry every year it's like a private organization who stocks this quarry with trout. I have caught rainbow trout over here before, the Oncorincus micis, and also some beautiful brown trout, the Salmotruta. But like I said, today I'm just gonna chill. I got two rods with me. I got raw holders. I may cast around with some red worms. I may just soak bait. I may explore because there is actually a little creek right next to the quarry. So anything and everything can happen in this video. Let me get my stuff set up and hopefully we're going to slay some species, all right? Uh, now that's interesting. They got an aqua car over here. That's actually a company that owns two reservoirs around my area, the Churchville Reservoir and the Springton Reservoir. All right, it's been a whole year since I have been here. So let's check the conditions. We got here the shallow part. Dang, man, it's only May, but the green stuff is like full effect, huh? All right. All right, right next to the trunk. Oh, got a hit. Got a hit right next to the trunk, get it, boy. Is it on? Is it on? It's on. Oh, it's off. Ah, oh, no, that was the first hit of the day. Man, the thing with this quarry is that the water is so clear, it's tough to catch this fish. It really is. So when you get a bite, you just get so happy because you know there's some fish down there. Look how, look how clear this place is. Now, I don't know if that was a trout or not, but that, was, that bite was pretty good. Dang, oh, got another hit, got another hit. Take it, boy. You guys see that? You guys see how the rod moves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take it, man. Just take it. Just take it, man. Just take it. You can, you can do it. Yeah, son. Dude, that's a jumbo bluegill. Wow. Okay. I think I failed to mention that this place has got some big bluegill. Look at the dude. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, that's like a pounder. Okay, let me land it over here. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Dang, look at that, huh? Look at the size of this bluegill. Oh, hell yeah. Now that's a, that's a nice bluegill, right? That's a nice bluegill, man. Wow. Yeah, that's a big bluegill. I gotta take a photo and then that's it. I gotta put it back. Yeah, ooh, bro. Look, look, look at this. Dang. All right, run before the fish dies. That's how we do it. Let's release it right over here. <laughs> look at that, huh? dude, look at the size of this bluegill. You know, folks, for a bluegill to grow this big, it takes a long, long time. This is like maybe three fourths of a pound, not, not quite a one pounder, but that's a nice gill. Definitely a nice gill. Oh, you all right there, buddy? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh man, look at that. Oh yeah, it's one way strong. It's right over, it's right over there now. Oh yeah, this is 100% sketchy. Oh, got a hit, got a hit, got a hit, but we're gonna get snagged! <laughs> oh, it was a little bad, man. Nah, this is not, this is not the one we are targeting, folks. There are 
there are big bigger fish there are bigger fish down there you can see the shadows right this one here first bass of the day but mm -mm, this is baby too, too small too small okay okay this is mm -mm, too too small for the quarry too small for the quarry here here little fella go back yeah all right who would have thought so finicky man all right, okay, your turn will come. You just, you just wait. You're just there enjoying a free meal. You think everything is going to be okay? No, everything's not going to be okay. Where uh, I'm thinning the population first, so I'm catching the small ones. There are a few small ones down there. So I really need to kind of traumatize these guys first before we can get to the bigger ones that are all the way down. So go back, go back. that one was on the juice free falling I just removed the sinker that's it and let it fall as naturally as possible because these fish are so finicky ah! another little bass this is not what we want I'm trying to target the the bigger bluegill down there there are some mondo bluegill over there these are all the little look how stunted this bass is e man just go back all right there's one there's one ah it's another dink it's another dink bass yee how many dinks must we go through until we catch the big one i know there's some big ones down there just super finicky fish in this in this quarry because the water is just so clear oh that was a hit it's on Am I snagged? Oh, the, but the fish is on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice gill. Nice gill. Man, this place has some big gills. That's what I'm looking for, but I'm pretty sure they are bigger down there. Woo! Yeah! Beauty. This is about seven, seven to eight inches. I'm pretty sure there's a 10 incher down there, and hopefully, we're going to catch it down there. We're going to catch it today. You hear that, Tim Galati? Then each are coming for you, all right? <laughs> all right, let me release this guy over here. <laughs> uh, I got stoked with these fish. Uh, you know, this may be small for your area, but for my area, you catch gills like this. It's a nice fish. And if you catch a 10 inch around my area, bluegill wise, it's like good status, right? Right, Goose? Damn right. Oh yeah, look at that. Got here a whole little whole little creek going on here. I never explored this creek before. I think they call it the Sandy Sandy Run Creek or something. All right. Let's check it out. See if there's anything swimming around, any micros, any fish. The action was actually pretty slow in the quarry. Just caught a few bluegill and a few dink, largemouth bass. So I decided to hop to this creek right next to it. Uh, I have never fished this creek before. It is my first time. So it is kind of, uh, I don't know what's going to happen type of moment. I just saw some micros in this pool of water right here. So you guys know what time it is. I got my photo tank <laughs> ready over there. I'm tying on to begin with a size 18 hook. Got to put a split shot on, got some red worms. We will find out what species are down there. There we go. Yes, 15 minutes, but I got it. Jeez Louise, they say micro fishing is easy. What is this? Well, whatever it is, man, it's going into the photo tank. Oh boy, what we got here? It's a spot tail shiner. Yeah, oh, see, the hook came right out, dude. Size 30 hook came right out. Spot tail shiner. All right, let's take a shot and release it. Every time I am out here, it is very important that I catch all the micros in those new creeks that I have never explored before because you just never know, right? I mean, this is the truth. You really just never know when you are going to find a species of fish that you have never caught before. And you know, micros, 
they are usually the ones that are there are plenty around the area so there we have it the spot tail shiner the notropis hudsonius going back right where it belongs yeah you see how beautiful that is that's the species number three of this video this is turning out to be a major discovery very nice very nice i never knew this creek existed there we go what we got here <laughs> hell yeah this we haven't caught today yet what is this mm, this is a satin fin shiner all right let's put it in the photo tank check it out now guys fourth species of the day another little beauty right here that not a lot of people know about the cyprinella analostana aka the satin fin shiner for those who actually get a kick out of ichthyology just so you guys know there are two species of cyprinella around my area one is this one right here the satin fin and the other one is the spot fin shiner and the only way to differentiate both of them is actually to count the anal fin rays over here depending on the number you can differentiate the satin fin from the spot fin shiner interesting fact huh I think it is about time for us to go a little bit upstream, explore some other holes and see what else may or may not be in this creek. Brothers and sisters, here am I, just following the creek and check this out, what the heck is this? There's a house on, on the pond. No joke. Check this out. This is all water. This is all water over here. You guys see that? And there's a house on it. What? That's why I say, you know, exploring with EPF. If we stayed at the quarry, I would have never found something like this before. Dang, dude. Look at that. That's a... Uh, very interesting for sure well this is an old house this is definitely an old house look at all the malls and stuff on, on top of the house look at that fascinating huh let me let me leave my stuff over here and check it out a little bit more wow there's water in the house i don't know how much of uh, footage good footage the gopro will be able to give you look at that huh that's pretty interesting stuff for real and check it out huh look in here wow bro this is old that used to be a table right there i don't know that used to be something Eey, man things are falling apart in here i ain't gonna go in or anything that used to be the door and it's uh, it's got water hot water over here wow this is fascinating guys fascinating huh check that out dang dude anyways uh back to fishing what the heck there's like a little monument back here. all right anyways uh Back to fishing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, got something. What we got here on the size 30 hook? No, you got to be kidding. It's a red breast sunfish on the size 30 hook. Look at that. Wow. Lepomis auditus. This is actually fascinating, folks. Fascinating. You see, every time Extreme Fillet Fishing goes out there to explore a new creek, right? Like the one where we are today. The species that I catch in such a creek tells me a lot of things. It tells me how healthy the creek is, right? It tells me about the local ecosystem, especially if I end up catching native species of fish and the size of the fishes that I catch in such a creek tells me what are the apex predators in that creek. If I came down here today and I only caught shiners that were about this big, well, those are the apex predators in the creek, right? There's no bass, there's nothing bigger. Now that we caught the Lepomis auditus right here, the red breast sunfish, well, that tells me that this creek can sustain a population 
of some fish and these automatically became the apex predator until I catch something bigger than this right or I find something bigger <laughs> this is a species number what five for today it's fascinating you know it's major major discovery as I like to say it is all about going out there and exploring new bodies of water there it goes huh all right back you go Oh, there's one! <laughs> the nice size too. Look at that. Oh yes, this creek can. Wow. Okay. If there's fish about this size in this creek, in this little creek, that means the native species definitely have no chance, right? Look at that. It's a, another Lepomis auritus, the red breast sunfish, native to my area too. So, I mean, it's always nice feeling to see the natives around. <laughs> oh, yeah. All red breast. It's red breast fight good, but that's really all that there is to it. Nothing new, nothing unusual. Just beautiful red breast sunfish, son. Got something. Yay, another species for today. A little cute green sunfish. Oh my goodness, this is a mangled green sunfish. Holy cow. Let's put it in the photo tank, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Let me tell you, I have seen some mangled fish in my lifetime, but this fish right here is pretty mangled. You guys can see it right now, it's the mouth of the fish that is pretty mangled. So let me show you guys here. Look, this is the front of the mouth. You see how mangled this fish is? I'm not exactly sure what happened to this fish, but back in the days, something definitely happened to it, you know? Look at this! Oh man! You know, man, I will use it as flathead bait, but I hope you have a good life. Oh, there we go! Nice! I set up the trap right in front of the hole. Yeah, and up came a beautiful red breast sunfish. Yeah, wow, look at the colors on this guy. By far the most beautiful of the day. Wow. Okay, I have caught a lot of red breast sunfish before. I have to say, this is definitely a very gorgeous and healthy one. This creek is very healthy. This fish is truly phenomenal. I don't even know what to say. I have caught so many uh, red breast sunfish before. And this one right here, the colors on this one are just so vivid. Look at that. Holy cow, look at look at the breast, right? This makes justice to the red breast sunfish. Okay, wow, I have to say, I have fished for a long time for this red breast sunfish. I've caught some very, very beautiful ones out there from the creeks. This right here is a really nice sample. Look at the vivid colors on that guy, huh? very nice sample went right back to the hole right there his house days like these folks days like these are the days that i really wish i had more time to explore and fish sadly life responsibilities and no calls so this is it for today very cool adventure i had today totally unexpected i started at the quarry and I thought I was going to finish at the quarry and then you know I saw on the map wow there's a little creek right next to it why not go there and explore right and check it out if I fished only the quarry I would have ended up only with two species of fish for the day instead I came out here I explored and man we ended up with like what five different species of fish right truly fascinating so thank you very much for watching this video I appreciate it folks I'll see you all next time.
fish on, fish on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, first fish of the day coming up. Fish on, dude, that koi just took it right over there. Four pound test, have to use four pound test over here. Otherwise, you know, you can't really, you can't really fool them. That's how finicky these fish are. Oh my goodness, look how it runs. You gotta wait until it tires out. This is this is ultralight. It's running all the way to the middle of the pond. Oh my goodness, bro.